Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to another episode of Evanico. Last time we did stuff. It's been a little bit since I played. Um, we were capturing some Gal monsters. We unlocked Camelot. Um, those were the main things. We still need to attach a Decky, but I think I wanted to level up a bit first so we can get closer to... 90% hitting it. I believe we're just going to... Yeah, we have... We, we did the fishing quest for beauty. We have teleport now. Very helpful. So let's go to Lancelot. I think that's where the main quest is. If I had to guess. But let's uh, hand in our shit to beauty. First... Don't need to worry about these, cause we already have them captured. Unless you want more, but I don't really care enough <laughs> to put in the effort. Little little level. Uh, but yeah, let's do side quests. Got a fish. I was getting in such a waiting. Guilty, you can deal with the cooking. Oh, looks fresh. Dutch took the fish, skillfully removed the intestines, and began to roast it over a fire. Whoa, you're good. There, done. You guys have some too. Tasty. It's nice getting to eat what you catch, but another fun part of fishing of fishing's the chance to catch rare items. Apparently you can only find one per fishing spot, but there's no reason not to try if you got the bait. Okay. I am beauty, show who ate. She who ate so much that she concerned about gaining weight. Then why not take a walk? Going to another country could be alright. Yes, we do have blades. People can go anywhere they please, so that's not a bad idea. Here's the item I was planning on leave you. Use it if you're interested. The party tipped the road and said goodbye to the pair as they began preparing for a journey. So we gave the fish. Oh! Wait, that's a Ricci item for sure. Is that the item you plan giving? I'll take it though. Oh yeah, we have this. That's really good. But I'm kind of focusing on XP gain. Don't know how good that is though. Yeah, 5 XP gain. She's running HP, which I think is fine. Is it? I mean... Yeah, whatever. We can always switch before a battle. But okay, Richie gets a good upgrade. He'd love to see it. Let's head to Lancelot, because I think that's where we're supposed to go. Hmm, this is tougher than I thought it'd be. The party got their info in order and resumed asking around about Snake Dress, but they didn't obtain any results. The poison gas seems like it could be related to Snake Dress, but we don't know a thing about the cause for sure. Camelot is a mystery, but we can leave that place be, I imagine. Neither Arthur's ruins nor the purification plant have a proven connection to the poison gas either. But the ruins are on the other side of the desert and the plant's off limits. Dark Knight Kitty is pretty popular for a vigilante, huh? Even more so because the knights around here aren't very reliable, I would guess. But none of this gives us any clues about Snakecrest. Hmm, what to do? Unable to obtain any clues regarding Snake Crest, Richie started thinking about some other things, whereas Ramius gave up on thinking and began to shift her interest toward the nearby food stands. Hey pal, I'm trying to get to City Hall. Can you tell me how to get there? Hmm? Aster turned and saw a man interestedly looking around. Sorry, I don't live around here, so I'm not sure myself. Yeah, sorry to bother you. The man apologetically lowered his head as he discreetly held out a letter. Is this guy the middleman? Right, our secret quest to give funds to outlaws from the king? Aster took the letter and looked over it such that Riche and Ramius couldn't see. After sundown, come to the ally behind Lionel's 8th Avenue, the middleman. Lionel. Okay. Esther visualized the map in his head and got an idea of where the meeting spot was. When he looked up, Richie and Ramius didn't appear to have noticed anything, each doing what they were a moment before. I should definitely go alone. The problem is how? 
Well, I'll figure something out. Aster acted as natural as possible as he went back to his wives. Okay, so we need to go to Lionel, but we need to distract them or something. I don't know if you actually need to go alone. Maybe we can just go to Lionel and distract them in Lionel while we leave. Anyways, let's level Aster. Oh! Ooh, new reward. Okay, I, I thought it was just a normal dialogue. Reward for our hard work for reaching level 16, I guess. The plushie? Uh, this? Huh? Seems like something's in there. An envelope? Aster continued to follow Sword's instruction and took what was inside. Oh, oh what is this? Oh my god. It's, a uh, King Hani. What's that doing there? Ah. <laughs> uh. Whoa, whoa, they're big and they look soft. Hani's are very soft. No, it's great. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's kind of like, uh... Couldn't you do something like this with Willis in one of the Rants games we played? That I didn't really get too far in that, I think. Aster prostrate, prostrated himself to the girl on the other side of the magic transmitter and stated his appreciation. Uh, only for me, dulp. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> it sounds kind of like a bait, but... Hey, of course. Meow, meow, meow. Thank you, Keen Hani. Little, little upgrade. Nothing good. Yay. Okay, thanks. Aster Davis, thanks to the photo of Sarah and proudly left the level shop. Alright, how are we doing with selling stuff? Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. That's just a copy. Imagine I don't need this if it's not equipped. Not a lot of money, but this one's pretty decent. Yeah, we just... I'm assuming <laughs> these are what we need to sell. Hopefully not. Mistake. Dude, the radio for... Why is that so much, man? Guess we can't sell that. Do you have an old computer, though? Alright. What do we need? So I went for normal saber. Could buy armor for Aster. Reach already has her weapon. Ramius already has her weapon. So we're just buying armor now, right? So we can either get Ramius or Aster armor. I mean, I guess Ramius is slightly more important, so. I'll take the Ramius first. Makes more sense. Uh, we don't need a heal. This would just leave town. Outside the capital, Aster stopped and looked around. Now, how do I get to Lionel without them noticing? Hey, Aster. Huh? Wh what? Were you even listening? I said I want to eat some local Lancelot cuisine. Uh-oh. Uh Wait, I've got it. Uh, actually, my stomach's not feeling well. You, co you two can go eat by the yourselves. Really? They do say drinking water you aren't used to makes you more prone to illness. Yeah, that. Now let's go back to the inn. I can get you some porridge or something. Huh? Now you two don't have to stay with me. If her husband is ill, no wife would be inclined to go off and enjoy food by herself. Ah, uh, sorry. It was just my imagination. My stomach's running at peak performance. Uh-huh. Well, that's good. Hmm, what do I do? Getting away from them might be hard. Alright then, this time. Oh, there's a line over there. Hey, wanna go stand in it? Hey, that's a Heidi Bakery. Looks like the bread that just finished baking. While we're standing in line, I just need to pretend that I'm going to the bathroom and sneak away. No need, I sensed they had some fresh baked bread. I made sure I was the first in line. 
What? Ramius appeared, apparently had some kind of animal instincts for detecting the activity of bakeries because she was already carrying an armful of bread. Have some, Aster. Okay. <laughs> Man, what do I do? Hmm? As he looked around for something to distract his wives, Aster's eyes stopped at a familiar Dara. Hey, if it isn't Dury Dura. Oh, it's Aster, the nice guy who gave me bread. What are you doing here? Hehe, <laughs> I got a job to do tonight, so I was just heading out. Dury Dura somehow used her giant glove with enough precision to scratch her cheek. Oh yeah, so those gloves have paws on them. Do you like, do you just like paws or something, Dury Dura? Those are battle gloves that can make up for the user's short reach or enhance the striking power. So they're weapons? You can fight Dury Dura? Hmm? Me? Rumble? Um, are you hungry? Yeah. Here, eat as much as you want. You have to eat if you want to grow. Before Aster even needed to ask, Ramius took out some bread out of the paper bait and held it to Dury Dura. Are you sure? Thanks, you guys must really like bread. Lancelot's known around the world for its bread. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Hee hee hee. Tasty. If you like it, you can have more. Would you like to take some home with you? Hey, there's no need to eat so quickly. You're getting crumbs all over your face. Enchanted by the innocent way Dury Dura ate, both Riche and Ramius began to look after her. Huh? Could this be my chance? Drip. And where do you think you're going without your wives? Hmm? The instant Aster tried to get away, Richie's arm seized his shoulder. Do they know? Wives, are you married, Aster, to both of these ladies? Don't be surprised that he is too. Aster was hurt at work, so we can get even more. Richie, that's not untrue, but please don't invite misunderstandings. Oh, are you saying you're already satisfied? No, oh, no way, I still need another two wives at the very least. Since I promised to marry my sisters. I get it, it's because you want to cheat on them. You've got it all wrong. Then would you mind telling us where you're going, where you're trying to go? Uh, well, um... Oh yeah, I figured as long as we're in Lancelot, I'd go check out Lake Guinevere. We're expecting the poisonous gas... We're expecting poisonous gas around there soon, so that'd be dangerous. Huh? Really? In that case, it's possible snake crust spreading the poison gas as we speak. Oh, oh yeah, that's true. Maybe we could catch them in the act. Then why don't we go there and investigate together? Of course. <laughs> Dang, I guess I'll just have to go and think of a way to shake them off. Well, I, I actually just remembered what actually happened, which is hilarious. But, will not spoil. As you heard, we have something urgent to attend to now. Would you like the rest of the bread? Wow, thanks. Bye-bye, you guys. Durigara happily waved her huge paw, glove, and ran off. We should be off, too. Let's get a good look at Lake Guinevere while the poison's fog still calm. Okay. Aster ended up heading to Lake Guinevere. So did it dissipate? Our handy-dandy map. Doesn't really like add too much, eh? <laughs> but that's okay. Okay, I'm guessing it's done then, right? Oh yeah, we need to equip Ramius's new new armor just dropped. Yeah, so all we need is Aster's armor. Then we're done, unless there's more uh, stuff to buy from a shop up here. Okay, so we can go here. So we, I kind of want to explore a bit. Or do I? Uh, is there even a point of attacking Hany slimes, man? They're just so trash. This seems like a waste, but whatever. Boop. And light arrow me. And one hit. Right, yeah. Let's take a look around the area. Even the ooh, romance event. Hurrah! Splash. Aster suddenly jumped into the nearby water, then immediately returned. Ooh, that was refreshing. When it's hot, there's nothing better than jumping into cold water. In this heat, I should dry up quick too? Mmm, just perfect. Remy glanced around. 
Whoa! Haney, why did you appear on stream? <laughs> well, Ramius, why do you undress? Need to remember, so we got the Sora scene and the Ramius scene. Might as well note it, just because it's sometimes hard to remember what I need to censor. Especially as now I'm dodging stuff. Uh, this is around like 15. Sora. Within like the first, what, like five minutes? Ramius was like was around 15. Okay. Still, this is no place to get naked. Another guy might see. If it's a bad guy, you might get assaulted. Uh, are you into being seen naked? That's not true at all. Or so I'd like to say, but I doubt Rami is so get it. This is bad. I have to make Rami understand how attractive she is. Ramius, listen. Esther sees Ramius' shoulders tight. How many times do I have to say it? You're awesome, Ramius. Beautiful, pid boobs, cute. You're the best wife a guy could have. Anyone would fall for you. Just imagine having you as a wife makes me a happy man. So? What? Remy said with such conviction that an explosion sound effect might appropriately be played in the background. You're... You're welcome. Boy, I'm kind of embarrassed now. <laughs> okay. Well, good. Ah. Whoa! New monster doll just dropped. All right, be careful, guys. Good guard. Mm, one more hit. Oh, oh, baby, perfect. That's an easy capture. And easy. Do do I, I? I mean, I might as well center just in case. <laughs> kind of cute. What is this around? Eighteen minutes. Okay. Uh, monster doll eighteen. Nice. That was easy. If only the Gecky could be captured like that. Yo, 20 attack and accuracy? Oh man, and I'm using this shitty sketch now, but the XP into the tunnel, bro. Esther, do we need something here? Huh? Well, not really. Isn't there someone else we should go first? So, so we're region lot. Pretty sure that's like the next country, so let's check out the Jizo. When Esther touched the statue, it relayed tourist information to him. Hey dudes and dudettes, the Lancelot Tourism Association brings you this hella cool guidance. Past the mud, mudded, rugged mountain range to the east, there's our neighboring country of El Quixote. Northwest's got the town of Pancarac. There's nothing really, they're not really known for shit, just a normal city. The statue offered its unsolicited guidance and fell silent. Okay, so we got a poison cat. Honey? Honey? The real Hanny's here? Oh no, this is gonna be a... It's a tough fight. Of course, it's a real Hanny. It even has a Hanny music, right? <laughs> Based. Thank you. Actually, maybe we should just go to the island. Might as well. There's the event. A little... Oh, a couple things. Sightseeing. The party looked over the lake. Now so small it could be mistaken for a pond. Lake Guinevere. So this is the real Lake Guinevere. Various measures are being taken to prevent it from shrinking any further, from what I know. 
but constructing something to protect the shoreline or banning anyone from taking water out. If you draw water from the lake anyway, you'll be arrested by the knights and be thrown in jail, apparently. That's harsh. At least it still exists at all. By the time our child, children's generation, the lake may be gone entirely. I hope we can let the children of the future see it. Hmm, when the lake's this small, I don't see how... Gwynessi could live in it. Maybe Gwynessi is moved. You mean the legendary monster Gwynessi? Oh, like... Like Nessie, like Loch Ness. <laughs> you don't think there's a possibility it never existed at all? Huh? Of course not. Of course not. The party enjoyed the sight of one of the Republic of Lancelot's landmarks. 20! Do we get a Haney delivery from our sisters? Yes! Delivery Haney. What's up, buddy? Hi there, your delivery has arrived. Yay, it's from my sisters. Ask her son off of the hundred landscapes to receive a reward from the twins. Gym clothes. Oh, okay. So a little selling. I think we sold them before. Decent. Thank you, sisters. Also a little beetle, which is really good. Because it's just a nice permanent upgrade. And of course, we're just going to give that to Asterisk. Because he's our Giga Chad. Alright, let's do the event. First, let me... What? Yankee? Dude, I remember Yankees. Actually, were Yankees in the old Rance game? They're definitely in Sendoku. I remember them from that. Uh, we already have fired up. Let's just poke. Can't stun. Ooh, we're down to hit hard. But not that hard, apparently. Ooh, maybe I should have... Eh, it worked out. Little item? Ooh. You love to see a plus two. Alright, let's do it. Halt! Aster and his wives were about to head to the lake when a mercenary woman told them to stop. Due to the poisonous gas outbreak, it's dangerous to proceed past this point. Sorry, but I'll have to ask you to leave. You were hired to stand watch, right? We're pretty confident we have the stamina to handle it. Maybe, but... It's not actually off limits, is it? What are you panicking for? The truth is, there's more than just poisonous gas around. A mysterious giant creature has been sighted in the lake as of late. A mysterious giant creature? Yeah, so I would stay away if I were you. How often do you get to see a giant monster? We can't let this chance get away. Hearing that there is a giant monster made Riche's eyes shine as she tried to push her way forward. I told you, I can't let you go to the lake. You're just trying to keep it all to yourself. No fair, I want to see it too. Ooh. Protru protrubed by Riche's refusal to back down, the woman turned to Aster. You're her husband, aren't you? Can you touch some sense into her? Sorry, it's hard. Besides, she looks so excited, I want to let her see it. Look, we'll take responsibility for anything that happens. Mind letting us go? Thing is, and I'm only telling this to you, the mysterious giant creature isn't actually dangerous. Huh? It's just, it uses its tentacles to do dirty things to girls. D dirty things involving tentacles? Who would have thought? Shh, not so loud. I'm sure you don't want to see your wife put through tentacle intercourse. Come on, tell her to chill out. Tentacles, squirmy tentacles, slimy tentacles all over Richie and Ramius. I, I have to see that. Let's run, Dasters. There's some sort of problem. Nah, not really. She says we can go ahead. What? Wait, the giant creature. Hehe, <laughs> gladly. Don't blame me for what happens. Esther ignored the bewildered woman and proceeded forward. So here? Or, oh, here. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, there's the creature. It wasn't there before, right? That is huge. I think this is around the center of the lake, but it's actually a sea or something. Esther stood on the shore where he smelled the hint of salt in the wind. Great view. Water seems a little cloudy, though. <laughs> it is very massive. Yeah, it really is big. Jesus. In the center of Lake Guinevere was a creature so massive and daunting that it could be mistaken for an island. Oh, 
Maybe. Alright, then should we beat it? You agree, right, Ryuche? Um, Ryuche? This isn't the time to ask. Oh, looks like they noticed us. The gigantic creature slowly approached the party. Its eyes expressed no emotion, amplifying its already unpleasant appearance. Riche, you should get ready to fight too. If you don't, we could get killed first. When they were about to attack, a female war warrior acting as a lookout stood in their way. Good doctor. Good doctor. <laughs> ah. While they were distracted, Richie and Ramius were captured by the giant creature's outstretched tentacles. Hey, let them go! But the poison gas around the lake might be emerging from that thing. Huh? Huh? Mutant fish. <laughs> That's a fish? Why did one of these useful fish attach my wives after growing so giant? あの、その結果肌年齢が10歳も若返ったのよ。それ以来すっかりご婦人型に気に入られたドクター様はギルドでご栄が雇われるほどに大切にされているのよ。Well then, I like him to let them go if that's okay. 老廃物が取り除かれたらすぐに解放してくれるわ。お肌がツヤツヤになってきっと驚くわよ。It seems like you're speaking from experience. ドクター様は全世界の女性の味方よ。傷つけるならこの辺りのご婦人型を全員的に回すことになるからね。older hmm, woman. Those do seem like they could be a dangerous enemy to have. Well, as her standing around, the doctor was stripping off Ramius and Richard's underwear. All right. You missed it, but our wives are distracted. They're getting a nice rejuvenating massage by a good doctor, the fishy. So yeah, now we have our chance to go. Huh. All right, now's no time to watch this. Here's my chance to get away from them. Esther was even considering joining the fun and was about to take off his pants, but decided against it. Sorry, you two. Wouldn't want you to stare too much, so I'll go over there. Nope, didn't see anything. Whoa, Richie totally knew I was trying to shake them off. Uh, I'll be back for you later. Now I gotta hurry to lie now. I started like he didn't hear and he set off for lie now. Okay, so now we don't want to explore, but I kind of want to do this. What the? My body's all warm and cozy. Feels good. When you get used to it, it's similar to getting a massage or some other indescribable, relaxing feeling. Oh, wait, not there. Richie, just where are you being touched? You're getting something I'm not, aren't you? Stop, my navel sensitive. What? Your navel? What are. What? Your navel? Is that Haster? Don't hide, show yourself. Crap, I haven't even met the middleman yet. Haster heard the streams and ran off at full speed from the lake. Sensitive navel, eh? <laughs> Anyways, let's... Ooh. See, this is a little scary. Can I just, like, leave? Yeah, I don't really want to fight solo with Aster. Especially then ghosts. So let's just speed run to Lionel. Can we make it? Nope. Oh, god. 
Good dodge, by the way. Did escape. When you're lucky, you're lucky. But I don't know the percent. Alright, easy, <laughs> easy run. Is this the meeting spot? This is a pretty late time to meet. Hmm? Someone's there. Is it them? Uh, it's Tio, the... The opposition. I master. Wait, what? Waiting for Asa at the meeting spot was presidential candidate Tio. Huh? Are you the middleman for the outlaws? Of course I'm not. In fact, he's more or less hostile toward us. Huh? Think so? We can't be friends? That sucks. You're really cute. She is pretty cute. Yeah, got them right here. Hmm? Aster caught sight of a shiny metal object, grabbed Tio and jumped to the side. Watch out. Cut, cut, cut. Where Tio had been standing, some sharp throwing weapons were stabbed into the ground. Huh? Who's there? What's going on? Yo, it's our boy Yurase. What's up, dude? Yurase, why are you here? <laughs> Look at that cocky smile. At least he's dead in work. Following Yurase, several guards rushed to the back alley one after another, where they saw the short statured figure lurking in the dark of the night. Yurase drew his sword and ran after the figure. The way he unsheathed his blade, dashed and slashed in its succession, wasted no movement, displaying a fair level of talent. Okay, dude. <laughs> Clank. But his sword was easily blocked. Shocking your essay stiff at the same time, a large object came from him at the side. Wham. Yurase? <laughs> Unfazed by Yurase's defeat, the brave man went after the attacker. The tiny figure exhibited some shocking power in dashing out of the bat alley, revealing herself in the moonlight. Th that's... That's a screenshot, baby. Uh, what's it called? A uh, thumbnail. It's Dark Kitty Guri Gura. The Black Shadow's huge hand swung down, knocking a stream out of the one of the guards as he was blown away. Guri Gura? The little the girl and cat incapacitating men over twice her size with a single swing was the same girl as her given bread to that afternoon. Guri Gura. <laughs> Aster, to, Aster could tell by watching that the guards were no amateurs, but Durigura avoided all their attacks by the breath of a piece of paper, then delivered precise precision strikes to their vitals. One of the men watched for Durigura to land, after taking out another guard, then attacked from behind. But as though she had eyes in the back of her head, she ducked to avoid his strike and drove her fire, reaching love into the man's face. 
Despite the numbers being against her, Guru Guru beat down the men one by one as though it were merely a game. She came off as a wild, carnivorous beast with instincts honed solely for slaying its enemies. Oh, watch out! The guards realized this was no foe they could take on barehanded and drew their weapons, intending to split her and her gloves in half. What, why were they charging without weapons, dude? <laughs> Clint. Dori Gura adaptively deflected the vigorous slash with her battle gloves claws. The man jumped backward, but the glove closed in on him faster than he could move. Bam. Kurigura's seemingly invincibility made Tio go pale, as she had an encounter with death himself. I'm impressed that a human being can move that fast. The guards were forced into a defensive battle, but their numbers were still steadily decreasing. There were few left standing between Kurigura and Tio. A knight? At the same time, Aster had to stop and wonder about that word. Grigor finished beating all the darts and approached Tio. <laughs> Bam. Goha! Before he finished thinking about it, Aster stepped in front of Tio and took Grigor's attack right in his abdomen, forcing out a whale. Esther only banished, barely managed to avoid losing consciousness, but still stood in front of Tio and stared at Rigura. Rigura finally shifted her attention from her target to Aster and stepped back at a cautious distance. You didn't notice it was me? And what about you? Why are you attacking Tio? Hmm? Yeah, it's hard to explain that away. Killer? あなたが闇夜のニャンコね。昨年の選挙でもボールズのタイリツ候補を襲って選挙結果に影響を与えた。なんて呼ばれているのかは知らないよ。僕は天地を与えるだけだし。前に襲った人も悪いことをしたっていう証拠はあった。確かに増愛を行っていた証拠はあったわ。でも暴力に訴える必要はないでしょ。どんな悪人でも選挙に出る権利はある。選ぶのは投票者だ。あなたが選挙
and Daji might be hard. Got the bold boys. The shouts of Tio's guards and the civilians who came out in response began to fill the bath ally. Aha, she disappeared. ああ、um, should I help? いえ、大丈夫です。ああ、そうだ。代わりと言ってはなんですが、ティオ先生の護衛をお願いできませんか。はあ。ちょっと待てや。So huh? you're Rasa, even though you are strong, you got jobbed. You're at, I th he's actually just the meme of the series, isn't he? He's like the bird, kind of. <laughs> Hirase, shouldn't you go to a hospital? エデンで名の知れた冒険者と売り込んだ割にはあ、それは相手が小さいから少し油断していたってわけだ。それに、ティオ先生の胸を見る目があまりに激しすぎ。Oh no, dude. Oh no, dude. I'm sorry, Yorase. I didn't mean to steal it from you. Yeah, I got another wife since the last time we met. The news of Aster's new wives was impactful enough that, added from the damage from the previous battle, Yorase began to have trouble remaining upright. Thud. Better go get him to a hospital soon. Goran no Tori, Goewa Zen Metres. Gildo de Atrasi, Goeo Yato, Made de Kiko Nano de Onega Itasimas. Hmm, well, I can't do my secret mission without Tio. Okay, I'll stay with you for a while. Yorosko Nega Itasimas. Palomides bowed and gave orders to those subordinates who could stand and began to swiftly pull away. The crowd that had gathered seemed to sense the chaos was over with and left, leaving nobody around but Aster and Tio. Um... Okay, but I left my wife somewhere, Is it, so it's okay for if I go and get them? Alright. But how do I explain this to Richie and Ramius? And it's almost dawn too. I bet they're real mad I abandoned them all night. Aster fretted as he and Teal left the back alley. Meanwhile, Guri Girl was using the magic transmitter to report that she had failed the mission. Guri Girl didn't even know the name of the person she was talking to. But as a ranger, a job class that sometimes takes spy missions, she was taught that not being told that information was perfectly normal. <笑>生きる価値を与えているのは誰だ<笑> The person on the other side hung up without waiting for Guri Guru's response. He never talked about anything but her mission. 
Hello, Titty. Niento. The kitten approached the smiling girl. Feel bad for the girl, but I'm sure we will free her by the end of the chapter. Jurja remembered she stood some bread from Astro left and stuck her hand into her pocket. Jurja gave half the bread to the jealous looking kitten that nibbled at her piece. With the bread still in its mouth, the kitten disappeared into the dark alleyway. Aww. Once she was alone, Dirty Girl recalled Aster and his wife's smiling faces. For some reason, the bread seemed like it was rapidly losing its flavor. After satisfying her hunger, Dreidura lay down and spent the night alone like she always did. Ah, dude, I feel bad for her. Can't wait to save her. Ah, uh, there's nothing we can really do in the town. Guess we can sleep. Traveling by yourself feels lonely. Well, just another reason to get married soon. Huh? <laughs> Recycling dialogue because we're alone? Good means. Alright. Let's wrap it up for today because we're at 50 minutes. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching. Got some Guri Gura lore. We found out that Teal's the middleman. We got doc good doctor massaging our wives <laughs> lots of uh, funny stuff caught a new monster doll i think we made some decent process progress so next time we'll get our wives back and we'll uh i don't know form a plan for teal probably investigate uh guri gura and stuff like that so thank you for watching hopefully you enjoyed and see you next time on Avenitol.